Now, the Venezuela government will honor President Hugo Chavez in a ceremony in Caracas later today. It's the day he was due to be sworn in for a third term as president. He remains hospitalized, of course, in Cuba after cancer surgery. Joining us now for more on the situation in Venezuela is our Europe business editor, Elliot Godkin. So he's not being sworn in today. So what are the likely scenarios? Well, it's a bit like not being able to turn up to your own party, I suppose. But there is this religious reverence almost for Hugo Chavez in Venezuela, uh, not just among Venezuelan people, but also certainly among uh, the ranks of his party. So the Supreme Court has effectively said that actually he doesn't need to be sworn in today on uh, January the 10th. He can be sworn in at a later date without actually specifying when that could be. It could be weeks, it could be months. Now, let's assume that Hugo Chavez can't realistically stay in a Cuban hospital where he's recovering from cancer surgery forever. So, I suppose there's three scenarios really. He could make a very uh, impressive recovery and return to take up the reins of the presidency once more. He's been in power since 99. Uh, there could be fresh elections, uh, which conceivably his party, which would then be run by Nicolas Maduro, the vice president, could win anyway. They, they still ret retain a wide uh, amount of popularity. And I suppose thirdly is that there could be some sort of constitutional coup whereby Nicolas Maduro, the vice president, takes control anyway. Now, the opposition leader, Hugo Capriles, says, look, this isn't right, this shouldn't be happening, whereas the vice Vice President Nicolas Maduro, the stand-in president, if you like, says, look, we're respecting the Constitution anyway. Make no mistake, none of these leaders were elected in October. It's regrettable, because the institutions should not respond to the interests of a party. Here we are, and we are not afraid of the bourgeoisie or anyone. We are here in the name of our commander Hugo Chavez, and as long as we are here in his name, subordinated to his rule, we won't hesitate to act according to the law and the constitution. And both supporters of Hugo Chavez, Chavistas, are planning a rally to honor the president uh, in Caracas later today. The opposition also planning protests. So. There could be some clashes, but uh, let's hope there aren't. There was the fiscal cliff in the States. They're calling this the constitutional cliff, I, re I read, aren't they? Uh, Chavez has been able to gain support from spending on homes and health care as well. But the reason why is because of oil, isn't it? Very much so. I mean, Venezuela is economy is dominated uh, by oil, uh, both in terms of uh, government revenues and in terms of hard currency uh, that they get from exports. But it's interesting, if you look in terms of oil reserves, Venezuela has actually done rather well under Hugo Chavez. From 1999, uh, when he uh, came to power, uh, Venezuela's oil reserves back then were about a third of Saudi Arabia's. Now, they're bigger than Saudi Arabia's. They are the biggest in the world. Mm. But in terms of production, Venezuela was did have half of Saudi's production back in 1999. Now, it's less than a fifth. And Venezuela's refining capacity, Mark, is lower than Spain's. They export crude, they import petrol. Elliot. More from you later. Thanks very much uh, for the moment. The Venezuelan stock market index, by the way, best performing global stock market last year, 300% higher.